welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new predictions, I guess. I don't, I don't freaking know. I don't, I don't know. You know, we just kicked off the new year. 2022 is in full swing, and while we have a full swing 2022 going on, we look back at 2021, it was a solid year. Probably one of the better years in wrestling figure history, I would say, right? I mean, with the addition of the double-jointed arms from Mattel, AEW appeared on the same full time, getting all these great sets, all these exclusives, all these different things. The step forward in True FX technology, just the unlimited amount of possibilities that are out there now for wrestling action figures in general and just the community as a whole. I mean, action figures for sure, but just wrestling figures for, you know, me and this channel and everywhere else, man. Wrestling figures are the best they've ever been. I got a head itch back here. But today I wanted to make some predictions for 2022 that we can look back on at the end of the year and see if I was correct, where I, you know, maybe I was wrong, where I missed it, or, you know, maybe I end up blowing it out of the water. Maybe I'm perfect, batting 1,000 right here. What if I just nail it all the way through? If I do nail it, that would be really incredible. I definitely probably will miss some stuff. And you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have any predictions for 2022 what figures you'd like to see what figures you expect to see all these different things i'm hoping that this year will be even better than 2021 as we continue on this trend upwards should be insane let's go ahead and dive into my list of my predictions for 2022 when it comes to wrestling action figures from aew wwe or wherever the hell else so starting things off with aew man i think that my first thing i want to talk about is the quality in which aew produces their figures i think this year we're going to see an uptick in the quality i think that the the flip flimsiness, the looseness, the different things that we struggled with in 2021, I think we're actually going to get a step up from that. I think that we're going to see a continuation in head sculpts getting better and better. I think the, you know, articulation is going to be there better. I think the elbow joints are going to be better. I just overall think that the quality of AEW figures is going to go up. Same thing for Mattel. I just think in 2022, man, let's just, let's just pray that quality of figures continues to rise and that we don't backslide. We don't want to backslide. We don't want any looseness. We don't want any garbage. We don't want things breaking here and there. We really want things to work out great, and I think 2022 will be that year for AEW, WWE figures. I, I wanted to more specify AEW because I feel like their quality was a little bit lower than Mattel's yes, uh, yesterday last year, and so I think that this year it's going to tick up a little bit, and it's going to be great. Staying on the AEW train, man, I want to get into play sets. I think that this year we're going to see play sets from AEW. I think that we're going to get some great stuff. I expect to see probably a ringside exclusive play set, whether it be Sue's Van or something like that and I think we're going to see a retail play set from AEW I don't know what it's going to be I don't know what the hell they're going to do I don't know if it'll be a cage match I don't know if it'll be a vehicle or anything like that but the way we've seen these things trending with the accessory packs from ringside and then we I don't know if those are really play sets you know I don't know if that's actually a play set but I'm thinking a fully functional play set not just like some accessories I'm talking about like a car with some with some action in it and some different things like that whether it be a cage or or a, something like that I expect to see a play set of some sort i think it'll probably be a retail exclusive possibly ringside exclusive but i expect to see some play sets the way aew has been working i think they're going to be like jacks back in the day they're going to give us some epic stuff in play set form and i think that will occur this year really excited for it and i hope i'm correct on that because i think it's going to be re really really nice so i'm expecting aew play sets in 2022 getting into play set style things we're going to take things over to the competitor we're going to go over to mattel and wwe and i expect the crowd funder this year you know we're going to get some sort of crowdfunder i expect it to either be announced at new york toy fair or san diego comic-con i think that will be one of the two maybe around wrestlemania time maybe before wrestlemania i don't know but i think that we're going to get another crowdfunded project from mattel and wwe on mattel creations and i think it's going to be 10 times better than the first go around you guys know that we will i want to say it's in what six months or something like that we will finally have our hands on the ultimate edition exclusive arena and we should end up with the macho man the doink the clown the diesel the ring the entrance way all those different things from the new generation arena and it should be epic but i think this coming year 2022 there's going to be a new crowdfunder explained and you know put out there and i think it's going to be a lot better than the one that we saw last year so i think 2022 is going to bring an epic 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 crowdfunder that we're all going to be excited about i don't know if it's going to be a stage again i don't know if it's going to be a combination of figures maybe some accessories maybe a vehicle i do not know what they're planning i would love to see a hell in a cell or like a 
like an elimination chamber or something insane would be fantastic to see. I don't know what they're going to do, but I think it's going to be better than last year's or this year's. You know what I'm talking about. It's going to be better than the new generation arena. I think it's going to be a lot better than that, and I'm excited for it. Cannot wait to see it. Uh, I hope it explodes the community. It only means better things for everybody involved, and I think that will be the case there. And I'm, I'm excited to get that new generation arena, but just the thoughts and the limitless possibilities. Since we crushed the goal for the, you know, the 8,000 backers or whatever we needed to get all those accessories and all those add-ons and stuff, I think that they're going to knock it out of the park with this next one. My next prediction for 2022 is going to be about Elite Series 100. I predict that Elite Series 100 will be indeed the best WWE Elite Wave they've ever made. I don't know if they're going to do six characters, five characters, if there's going to be a Build-A-Figure or, or something like that, but I think it will be the best Elite set that they've ever done. You know, you could take your Elite 88s or 89s, your Elite 69s, all your different Elite Waves. Elite 16 was a great wave as well. You could take all of your different Elite Waves that we've ever gotten, and I think that Elite 100 will probably blow all of them out of the water, and that's going to be my prediction. I don't know who they're going to go with. I imagine they're going to go with the Ultimate Warriors, the Hulk Hogan's, the Macho Man, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Undertaker, maybe a John Cena, maybe The Rock. I don't know. I feel like they're trying to, going to try to include six characters that kind of embody Mattel and WWE since Elite Series 1, because, you know, getting to 100 is insane, and I don't think they're just going to give us the six superstars from Elite 1. It would be borderline impossible since we're missing CM Punk and Jeff Hardy anyways, but, uh, you know, Elite MVP in, a, in Series 100 just wouldn't make any sense, right? I don't think they would just remake the full wave, so I don't know about that. Maybe that'd be cool to commemorate Elite 1, not with Elite 100, but maybe make like a cool set featuring the guys that are still remaining from Elite 1. That would be cool, but I don't think Elite 100 will have to do with Elite 1. I think it'll be more of like Elite 100, here's like our best superstars since Elite Series 1. These are the guys that have the most figures, maybe, like Undertaker, John Cena, Ultimate Warrior, you know, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, something like that, and that may be how they do it, you know? Maybe they're going to do the six guys who have the most elites. They're going to be in 100, maybe. I don't know. I think they're, we're probably going to get some flashbacks, some legends. I don't think we're going to get any current talent in that wave, but I do think Elite 100 will be sick AF. I think it'd be cool. You know, Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Undertaker. Maybe that's why they're pumping out so many Hulk Hogan so they can justify having him. Well, he's one of the, he's number six on the, on the top six guys with the most elite figures. So if you pump out Hulk Hogan figures, by the time we get to Elite 100, it could be that he has, you know, one of the six highest figures in terms of numbers so we'll have to see about that but I think Elite 100 will be the best interchangeable heads crazy cloth goods some great accessories great packaging uh, it'll probably be a set that I get fully mock I think that'd be pretty cool to keep on display need a bigger room for that but I think that will be excellent so Elite 100 I project will be the best Elite set of all time and that remains to be seen we'll have to see I hope it's six brand new head sculpts and I hope it just destroys the competition and I'm predicting it another thing that I think will be the best ever is I think we're going to see the best ringside exclusive exclusive elite figure or AEW figure ever. So uh, take your ringside exclusives on both sides, AEW and WWE. I think in 2022, we will see the best AEW or WWE ringside exclusive ever. So I'm guessing that it'll probably be on the AEW side, maybe, is what I would you know suggest, because a lot of people have nostalgia ties to the old ringside exclusive WWE at least, but it stands on both sides. So if we get it from WWE or AEW, doesn't really matter. I'm predicting we get the best ringside exclusive ever on either Either side of that coin so we'll have to see about that since we got some ringside exclusives last year from AEW the WWE ones have been slacking in my opinion so I'd really like to see those increase and in better quality I think 2022 will be the year of the ringside exclusive and we will see here as that and that kind of transitions into our next thing I'm going to predict that we see a CM Punk ringside exclusive from AEW I think we're going to get an unrivaled CM Punk ringside exclusive I don't know if it'll be from his you know his returning match on pay-per-view there or I, I don't know if it'll be his his, his first match back, uh, or what they plan to do with the unmatched series from Series 4. He'll probably be the Chase variant as well, so it'll be, you know, it'll have to depend on those things, but maybe uh, it'll be maybe the next Blood and Guts will be CM Punk with the short white trunks. I think that'd be a really sick Blood and Guts figure. I could see that coming from Ringside Exclusive, so I'm going to say that we will get a Ringside Exclusive CM Punk this year, and I bet it's going to be a Blood and Guts. I, I, I'm calling it right now. And then my last, really, prediction for 2022 as far as action figures are concerned, we're going back to AE again and we're going to go AEW unrivaled Jeff Hardy. I think we're going to see, I don't know if we'll see the full figure in plastic form by the time we get to the figures of the year at the end, you know, at the end December 2022. I'm just going to predict that we see a AEW unrivaled Jeff Hardy, whether it's a render, 
a mock-up, a prototype, something. We're going to get an AEW action figure of Jeff Hardy. I expect Jeff Hardy to sign with AEW this year, and uh, we will see him and Matt together in a two-pack, possibly, from AEW. Whether, again, it may not be in full plastic, because we're kind of running out of time here. It usually takes around eight to ten months, I think, sometimes even a year to get a figure fully created. So I'm going to go with a render image of a Jeff Hardy AEW unrivaled figure, and I think that will be the thing. And maybe we get the figure in hand next year, or maybe we get the figure in hand before the end of the year, but I think we will see a AEW unrivaled Jeff Hardy action figure, and it should be really sick. So that's my last figure prediction of 2022. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below. Again, if you guys did not see the headline, try to get this video to 500 likes if we can. I'd really appreciate it. Also, comment down below one of your predictions, and you could win a giveaway. So comment down below in the comment section what you predict for 2022 as far as figures go, and you could walk away with a fantastic figure in hand. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. What do you think of the new lighting setup? I feel like it looks a lot cleaner, all those different things. Let me know down below as well on that, and I will see you guys in the next video. That does it for my predictions, and don't cross the line like 2020 and 2021. Maybe 2022 won't cross the line.